Hey you sickening people, we are here at Tier Park. Yes, Tier Park means animal park, uh, Europe's biggest animal park to be, to be precise. I like to connect with animals and my human nature side and my activist side. Because you know what, I'm a bit of an animal activist. I do eat them, yes, but I still am an animal activist. So I'm here just to explore the park, see what animals I connect with and to talk and chat a lot of shit. Wow, look at her sup, can you see her? Can you see? Yeah, try and zoom in. Literally, it's like she's just come straight from Burkheim toilet. to a big bum and she's ready to go back onto the dancer. Look at her legs. Sickening legs, girl. You go, girl. You go. Yes, lay. Yes, lay, girl. Woo. This is camel. This is camel love. This park is promoting camel love. Can you see the love hearts? Can you see the camel? Um... But let's be honest, let's be honest guys, they don't want to be there. They should be in Morocco. These camels, she doesn't want to be there. Some call it cruelty, some call it education. I call it a spectacle of camel love. <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't wear, I shouldn't wear white trousers. Being at the park reminds me of primitiveness. And primitiveness reminds me of OnlyFans. The thing is, right, so I just want to talk about this, like, field, like, academic study that I feel like I've worked out. Like, I, I don't know, there's a definitely an algorithm with OnlyFans stars who basically, they, they, they start off straight, right? They're straight men, and they know, yes, they know that their audience is all gay men, and they start off, and it's like they, they do self-censorship. They will start off maybe showing their bum, then it transgresses to, like, dicks, then hard dicks, and then it transgresses to, to jerk-off videos, and they know, like, they know that they cannot give it all the way because then they'll lose their following. And the thing is, like, sometimes I look at a fitness influencer, like a new fitness influencer on TikTok, or I look at a new fitness influencer on Instagram, and I think, they're going to be shoving up and big, they're going to be showing the tennis shoulder up their ass in six months. Just watch this space, watch this space. They'll be shoving a 10 inch dildo up their ass. Like, you're just like, that's the thing. You look at fitness influencers and you know, you just know with these straight ones. Anyway, they eventually obviously progress to like mutual masturbation, check off videos, low jumps. Um, okay, finally, it's fucking freezing. Finally found a snack bar that's open. Let's see what they have. Honestly, I don't think they're gonna have good stuff. For fuck's sake. Oh, they do have glue vine. We should come back. Yes, yes, I am gonna drink on the job. Yes, I am gonna drink on the job. No, I'm not a mess. No, I'm not a mess. Yes, if I want to enjoy an alcoholic beverage on the job, I will enjoy an alcohol. I'm in Germany. I'm in Germany, where the land where it's, you're not ashamed to drink a beer at 8 a.m. No, 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 probably, anyway. Probably, Kuhn, probably they think you're fucking alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell, 4.50 for Glühwein. Sue inflation, souflation, that's what you should call it. This is souflation, not inflation. This is fucking souflation. <laughs> Learning German and living in Germany, they have like blas and a lutsch in these words to like suck and blow I think I don't know why people call it in English a blow job because you're not like because that is the act of blowing is a you're actually sucking so it could be, should be called a suck job that's what I thought the other day oh isn't this nice isn't this lovely oh just let, let me step into let me step into frame oh I take screenshots the thing is as a single person these things don't do it for you. You have to have family. You have to have a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a they friend. This doesn't do it for the single person. But it's a cute family idea. Honestly, though, like, we come to this park, and all I've seen right now is some sad camels and some buffalo. Where are the monkeys? Where are the elephants? Where are the giraffes? Where are the snakes in the reptile room? Honestly. My friends told me this story. Basically, um, we all know that person who's a name dropper. They're a name dropper, right? Look at me doing my comedian act. There's always that one person who's a name dropper. Well, anyway, so she, she works at a company, not saying names, not saying what company, and basically there's this, like, this intern starts, and this intern is literally, like, in the kitchen every day, name dropping. She's like, oh, oh, you know what? My dad's cousin, my dad's cousin's daughter, um, she was in L London grammar. She was in London grammar. 
London Grammar. And then literally any excuse she uses to name drop London Grammar, she will. Oh, she fucking will. Literally. So, for example, she'll be like, oh, oh, you just used a full stop. Oh, that's grammar. Oh, grammar, the structure and syntax, syntax of language. Oh, grammar, that's also my dad's cut the name, part of the name of my dad's cousin's daughter's band, London Grammar. But literally, we all know name droppers. We do, we all know name droppers. Oh, Indy, oh, Indy Sleaze. Oh, oh, Indy Sleaze. That came just before... Um, this band that my dad's cousin's daughter had called London Grammar. You know the song, Hey now, we don't give a fuck about who you've been with, who's your dad's cousin's daughter's whatever. Okay, so just getting my Vaseline out. You know what I want to say is that recently I've been taking my pot of Vaseline, something very dear to me. Yes, it's DM's own Vaseline. They're not trying to be, uh, I'm not trying to be an influencer. Sometimes people look at me with disgust that I get a tub of Vaseline now, that I get a home tub size of Vaseline now. They look at me like, I'm, like I fucking just killed someone. But I, no, I'm proud to get my tub of Vaseline now. No, I'm not thinking it's sexual like you, you pervert. Like, no, I'm not going to layer it on someone's asshole. No one uses Vaseline for lube anyway. We know this by now. But like, honestly, like, the amount of disgust I get at gallery openings, and I get my little, my, my balia, my balia DM, type of Vaseline now. It's like, give me a fucking break. I'm just making my lips nice and soothed. But like, honestly, I don't understand why it's so controversial to get a tub of Vaseline now. It's like people think you're just going to like layer it on someone's pussy and go, like, no, that's not what I'm about. I'm just about making my lips nice, honestly. Because honestly, it says a lot more about your mind than it does mine. What it says about my mind is that he likes to keep his lips nice and fresh. Oh my gosh. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, I can't stick my finger in. How are you? I will get you out, I promise you. I promise I'll get you out. I promise I'll get you out. I'll start just giving. I'll start just giving and I'll get you out of here, babe. I promise. I'll start go, I'll start go fund me. I'll start go fund me for you. What are your names, guys? Tatiana and Taylor. Oh, hi, Tatiana and Taylor. Oh my gosh, I'm scared, no. Honestly, guys, they don't want to be here either. They don't want to be here. I'll get you out. We will, I'll get you out, I promise. I will start just giving and I'll get you out. Honestly, the thing is about the park. Okay, yeah, I just stepped over the boundary. Who's going to tell me off? Who's going to tell me off? I'm ready to be told off, honestly. I've come here ready to be told off, let's be honest. So these are yellow-throated Marten. They are from um, the Pacific. To be honest with you... They actually don't seem as sad as the, as the camels. The camels, the camels don't just have seasonal depression. The camels have severe depression. These, these Pacific bitches, probably seasonal. They probably love it here in summer. But there's definitely at parks levels of depression between the animals. You get some who are just a bit anxious. You can just pop, up, they can just pop a Valium. Just throw some Valium in there. Probably, they probably. The zoos are probably fucking putting loads of Valium in these animals. I'll tell you that. They're probably putting loads of Valium, loads of Xanax. These, these, this whole park is full of animals on Xanax. Trust me. Trust me. Anyway, there is different tiers. Why do you go to this park if you don't oh. want it? If you are so that you say they are on Xanax or something, then just get, go away. They, they have... A, a, they have... They have Ich mache nur Spaß. Ja, aber ist doch scheiße. Oh, ja, warum? Spaß. Ich mache nur Spaß. Das ist mein nee. Vlog. Es ist kein Sch es ist doch scheiße. Oh. Die, Tiere, die Tierparks machen das doch nicht ohne Grund. Man kann doch die Tiere in der freien Wildbahn kaum noch sehen. Okay, well, we have a fan over here, but it's okay. I'll get over it. She's swearing at me in German. I'll get over it. The thing is, some people, you get haters in life. You get haters who just don't get it. They're not on the level. And you get people who get it and they're on the level she's carrying on bless her so people she just doesn't get it she just doesn't get it right she doesn't get some people are not on the level some people are and what you have to do is you just have to remember that the haters are going to hate but you usually keep on going i know people talk about me i know people bitch about me i know people sharing oh look what he's doing i will stand here and i'll do this until the day i die for the love for the love of the vlog all right let's go Looking back on when we first met 
I cannot retain, blah, blah, blah. baby, you're the one. You still turn me on. Tip heart can make me whole again. Oh, hi. The thing about that woman is that she was. Uh, I encountered the the extreme pro zoo movement, and like you know what, she was definitely one from the the extreme pro zoo movement. But no. I will carry on my local activism as I've now become... Uh, th this experience has made me an anti-zoo activist. I've encountered the treachery, the treachery of that of that Berghaus-wearing zoo activist who's just... I'm just enjoying my day, talking about the levels and severity of depression of the animals, talking about how there's Alex, and then you just get her coming along, talking shit. To be honest, like, like her, her husband or boyfriend was embarrassed by her, because it's just like, mind your own fucking business. But you know what? I mean, I'm all about love, so I don't care. So we're in, like, giraffe land. Giraffe. What's giraffe in German? Giraffen. Giraffe land. And there's no giraffes to be seen. Where are giraffes? Oh my gosh. Oh shit, we need, like, I'm trying to find the giraffe. Where are the giraffes? Oh, I like this little hut. Honestly, they should have put us, they should have given us a disclaimer. There's no giraffes here. It's just empty land. There's no giraffes. Where have all the giraffes gone? Oh, I'm annoyed. Oh, annoyance. That leads me to a new story. So, listen. This is a PSA, a personal... A PPSA, a personal pissy shout-out. AirPod etiquette. And I know AirPod etiquette. AirPod etiquette is taking your AirPods out when you're voice noting someone. You know if you, air, you, know if you use your AirPods when you're voice noting someone? All you hear is... <laughs> Hi, how are you? We get to see a bustle, Hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, ich bin bei, ich bin zu Hause. Ich bin zu Hause. That's all you hear. And it's like, take your AirPods out when you voice note someone. Honestly, you, you take them out. You don't even have to take them out. You turn off Bluetooth so your phone disconnects. You hold your phone and you walk like this in the street. Hey, babe, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. And you can see by the, you can see how much someone's been a, C-U-N-T, by how big the waveform is of the, how big is the waveform of the voice note? If the waveform is like that, the wavelength is like that, you know someone has been doing you dirty, doing you bad. If the wavelength is huge and big, as long as it's not too big, as long as it's not hitting, hitting those decibels, you know they've been a good friend. And the thing is, you know who you are, you know my friend, my friends, you know who you are. Stop voice, don't ever voice note me with AirPods. Voice note me by all means. God, girl, I love waking up every day to a fucking podcast with my friends. I, there's nothing I love more than being in the shower and playing not podcasts from The Guardian or The Sunday Times or Vox or Die Zeit. I love waking up in the morning and playing podcasts with my friends. I want a fucking Bible in the morning. <sighs> Look, this is all you get. This is, if, you, if you go to Tier Park in Berlin, this is what you get. Get a metal sheet. Yeah, this is a draft. That's all you get. This is the experience you're going to get in the winter at Tip Park. Maybe, maybe they ship them, maybe they ship them to the Serengeti. Maybe they ship them to Serengeti in the, in the winter. Probably that is ethical. But uh, let's, let's, let's stay positive. My glass is always half full, not glass, em not half empty. Let's see if we can find at least some bloody monkeys. Oh, he was just doing his flies up. I wonder what he's been doing, doing his flies up in here. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, here they are! They're in the. Here they are! They're here. They're in the. They're in. They're in the warmth. Okay. Okay. It's like stand correct, dude. But look at the queue to see. Um, I just want to get near them. Or maybe we should go this side. Maybe yeah, come this side. Wait. Okay, this side's free. Oh, look at the. Look at them. I want to connect with them. I'm trying, let me do. Let me try and connect. Hey, listen. I know you're here for now, but you won't be here for long. Start a just giving page, a GoFundMe, and we'll do a local fundraiser down at the local Kniper. Promise you. Look at me in the eyes. Look at me in the yes. Look at me in the eyes. We will get you 
out of here. But actually, you know what? It looks like they're having a bit of a party. Can you see the hay? Can you see the hay barrels? They're having a party. It literally, they're all going in on it. It's like, literally, it's, that's like if someone puts a bag of MMC on the table in a, in a, in a, fucking, in a Berlin party, it's like they're all going for it, aren't they? We connect. We connect. You see my spots? You see my spots? The draft spots? We connect. I am one of them, and they are one of me. We are all God's creatures, great and small, as they say. I feel very, con- I feel very, very connected right now. <sighs> we'll get you out of there, Sheila. Oh, look, coming over. It's my, ma- my, my magic powers bring them over. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Hi, so I'm here at the live at the giraffe enclosure, the winter giraffe enclosure. But I want to talk about something else. I don't want to talk about giraffes. I want to talk about emojis, right? I've, as you saw in my video probably a few years ago, there's levels of emo- tiers of emojis between the sluttiest emoji and the duttiest, sluttiest, horriest emoji, right? And recently, like, I've just seen people thinking that an aubergine and a peach emoji is sexual. That is the most provincial use, sexual use of emoji I've ever seen in my life. If you want to be an emoji whore, you, if you want to be an emoji slut, you will use the emoji with the big eyes, the holding back tears emoji, the crying holding back tears emoji. That is the whoriest, sluttiest emoji I've ever seen in my life. And trust me, these fellas behind, they would think the same if they could, if they had the level of brain strength. Honestly, stop thinking that the aubergine and peach emoji is anything but flac- flaccid, placid, boring. I, wanna, I want guys to message me with that holding back the tears of happiness and joy emoji. That is what I want in my inbox. Not the peach, not the aubergine. Come on. Come on, guys. What's this? PG-13? No, this is an R-rated classic. They're probably extremely bored. But you know what? They're animals. So do they really think? Do they really think about the Burkine Q? Do they really think about if they're going to go to Raver or if they're going to go to Penny? I wouldn't go to Penny. Sometimes. For the chocolate pudding. Do they really think about what they're going to wear on the Saturday night? No. They don't think about any of that. They think about eating, shitting, sleeping, and sex. That's all they think about. And that's a simple life. So you know what? I don't think it's too bad to be one of these people. At least they get it all given to them. It's an all-inclusive hotel here. It's an all-inclusive hotel for free. They don't pay for board. They don't pay for food. They don't pay for the friends. They just got it all given to them. So you know what? In this vlog, I'm really showing the diversity of pro-zoo, anti-zoo voices. And in myself, I'm being a bit bipolar in that. I'm changing my view and developing my view as I experience more of the Tier Park in Berlin. Thank you very much, Nicholas McCann. Oh, and look at this, look at this one called Frida. She's new. She was only born literally a year and a half ago. She was named after the worst restaurant in the whole of Prince Lauerberg. Yes, because you now charge six euros or something for bread and butter. Six euros for bread and butter. And look, she has to be called after you. She has to be called after you. Look, honestly, stop charging, Frida. Stop charging 10 euros for a glass of wine. Because honestly, they to, they, I bet they wish they hadn't named, named her after your bar. Because you need to stop with your prices. They're getting outrageous. Listen, Frida, I'm here for you. Frida, I'm here for you and I'll get you out, okay? I'll start a Just Giving. I'll start a GoFundMe. I will get you out of this soon. I know you love the Xanax. I know you love the Xanax. And I know you love... I know, I know you love the Valium as well. But honestly, I feel connected to you. Look at your tail. Look at your stripes. Look at her. Oh, she doesn't even know what day it is. She doesn't even know what day it is. Oh, gosh, she's a Xanax queen, isn't she? But we'll get her out, won't we? Trust me, I'll share it. I'll get Madonna to share it. She's on a world tour at the moment. I'll get Madonna to share it. And we'll get you out and we'll get you in the rehab. Oh, we will find you a new life. And Frida, you won't know what's hit you. And we'll rename you. We'll rename you, babe. We'll rename you after my favorite restaurant in Berlin, Riza. We'll rename you that. Because, babe, honestly, you don't know what life's going for you. Trust me. I feel you and I love you.
Just you wait, babe, just you wait. Just you wait five months and you'll be roaming free around the Serengeti, I tell you that. I love you. I love you. Ich liebe dich. Kannst du Deutsch oder kannst du English? Deutsch oder English? Sag mir, Deutsch oder English? English oder Deutsch? Portuguese? Spanish? Was sprichst du denn? We're just at the um, Adler, aka Eagles, Birds of Prey. We love them. We love a bird. We love a we love a bad bird of prey, don't we? We love a bad bitch, and there's no bad bitch than a bird of prey. Trust me. So, oh look, we have the uh, the vice cop the Adler, the bold eagle, bitch. This is the American. This is she is the moment. Shit, babe, she's on every fucking dollar. Baby, she, this is the most printed face in the fucking world. There's no other printed face than this bitch. Trust me, she's on every fucking dollar in the US, around the world. Bitch, this is, she is hot. Looking at this eagle reminds me of Hollywood. And Hollywood reminds me of me being a little silly foul. And bitch, honestly, I'm going to have to cut some friends. I'm going to have to cut some friends off. Because, no, actually, if you're on my silly foul level... If you aren't deep in cinephilia, then don't go near me. Have you seen Oppenheimer? Have you seen Curse of the Flower Moon, Scorsese? Have you seen Napoleon? Yes, that came out Friday. Yes, no. If you haven't seen all those three in the last few months, then don't even be my friend. But if you haven't seen Oppenheimer and Barbie, then why are you even my friend? Because, like, what are you doing with your life? Honestly, what are you doing with your life? Honestly, all of this is shot on the iPhone 15 Pro. That's why I look sickening. And... Okay, so one thing at the moment, I'm in my 20s, yes, and I'm actually, the, uh, as my friend, your friend Reese who passed away used to say, I'm in the wrong end of, the, I'm in the wrong end of the 20s, the wrong end of 20, I'm in 29, yes, I'm 29, so I'm still in my 20s, so babe, no, I am still going to say I'm in my 20s, I am still going to say I'm 20 something, I am still going to say, uh, being in my 20s, I know what it's like, because I'm still in my 20s. So don't start saying that I can't say stuff like that. 29 is just as valid as 21. 29 is just, isn't it? It's just as valid as 21. It's just as valid, okay? Please stop pretending that 29 isn't valid. That all of the fucking birds are listening to me now in this, in this eagle area. I guess I will say, oh, well, yeah, you know what? Being in my 20s at the moment is just like I'm still learning. Being 20-something, I still haven't really got there yet. Being 20-something, I still haven't owned, don't own my own house. Hopefully in the next decade. No, I'm just because I'm 20. And so I was like, oh, come off it, Nick. You're 29. Come off it, Nick. You're 29. Bitch, I'm 20-something. I'm in my 20s. And I'm still going to say it loud and proud. Now, being in my 20s, I'm still learning. And being in my 20s, I don't know everything yet. I don't. I still make mistakes. Like Adele said, go easy on me, baby. I'm just a child. I'm still allowed to sing that. And until I hit 30s, in, oh, well, I mean, who knows? Oh, gosh, don't start no man. No, I don't want to be for my 30s, let's be honest. I'm preparing for it. I'm preparing for it. But I honestly, I'm allowed to say 20. Being 29 is just as valid as being 21. And hear me, hear that, sisters. And anyone who says it's not is just a jealous 31, 32, early 30-something bitch. You know what people will say, oh, visiting is a zoo in the winter. Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Visiting a zoo in the winter. I say it's the best time to visit a zoo. I would have, I would have got the connection that I got with those giraffes earlier if I was able to be in the zoo in the winter. Yeah, it's dead. There's a few haters walking around. There's not really any shops, it's freezing. But babe, I do it for the connection to the animals. Because I am an animal activist. Although I do eat them sometimes. I'm an animal activist. And I will bear my fucking hands being cold and red. And my nose being like Rudolph the Red, red Nose. Like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. I will. And I will. The shop is closed. I will forego any capitalistic purchases. For a chance of intimacy and connection with a giraffe unfortunately there was no elephants that was my first choice